if we if it wasn't that, there's no way I'd be like, Swordmasters go into the yeah. middle of everything. Yeah. I just saw your champ. So, oh. I lost, but I'm happy because I got to kill lots of things. <laughs> Including you guys. Yes. <laughs> Welcome so, to Warhammer 8th Edition. We sent off the plague, I think, two, three times? It was twice. It was twice. The, and it just obliterated everything. That spell is awesome. Because it's a... Uh, well, that, Every guy in the unit takes a wound or a toughness test. That and your miscasts were like not. I know, like, it was ones. like I take a strength six hit, I roll a one to wound. It was yeah. weird. I got toughness really lucky. five guys. Because you got, what, three miscasts? Like Alright, well, now yeah, the shake. Three. Shake it a shake. That was great. Gentlemen, that was great. I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed I, watching I this game. Say, it was I a wild really ride. I like the new edition. I do. Like, the magic phase is just straight up fun. Is great. Still my favorite. Yeah, phase. it does seem to be a lot more eventful. It is. Yes, it is. When you're throwing six dice a shot like with I the will... possibility of death at every turn. I know, it's not like I get 18 to spell dice and you get four. Like There's you, that, that too. Edition, you know? Yeah, you with the Zinch one. That. <laughs> it's like you do not cast. And, and I have I spell do. dice, so you are million spell dice, so you can't even cast your spells. Plus, my. Five to spell scrolls, uh, yes. if in case you do get one off. It's like I don't feel like throwing my dice because I might get one, so I'll just spell scroll. Now it's just one per army. Yes, one to spell scroll per. Army. I like the force feedback one. Oh, no, it's nice. It's a uh, basically it's like a dispel scroll, but you don't dispel the dice. Uh, what happens is for every dice that they threw at it, you roll a dice. You roll a five or a six, they take out a wound with no armor save. Yeah. That's pretty wicked. It's a 50 point item though. Oh, but still, the wounds. Yeah, you could kill a wizard. Well, after watching this one game, granted it's only one game, I have come up with a very favorable impression of 8th edition. But I am going to have to rethink everything because the game really is uh, a lot more about killing things. But. Uh, Wow. Yeah. I, I don't even know what more to say at this point. It's definitely more um, strident. Like, things are, like, really flying. So, um, yeah. All right. Winners and losers for 8th edition. Top two winners. What do you mean? Codexes? Yeah. Oh, Army books. Um, Who got the biggest boosts? Oh, just boosts? Yeah. Ogre's got the biggest boost. Yeah, I would say Yeah. Ogres possibly viable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I dwarfs. I think dwarves. I'd, I'd almost say high elves too, just because of their rerolls for always yeah. strikes first. Well, I think orcs got a big boost too. Orcs. Oh yeah, no. Orcs got a bigger boost than high elves did. I, yeah, I would really say now. ogres and orcs probably. They got. They were definitely one of the bottom books, both of them, with ogres being the bottom book. Right. And now it's. So yeah, who are the big losers? Who are the whipping boys? What else? Yes. What else? Because <laughs> of the forests. Yeah. yeah, it's all too obvious. They didn't get much. The only thing they have now is they don't have to be, you know, in a giant line. Right. Tomb King's got a pretty big hookup, I think, with Ushabti and their yeah the archers. Who else got hurt by it? I think Vampire Counts got hurt a bit, because now it's not the I win by one and outnumber. So now you break on a two. I think vampires and demons got hurt a bit. Because demons, especially... I like, think demons got hurt. With, especially Zinch army. Zinch armies, flamers with the new skirmish rules, corn dogs. Yes, corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Um, they're not as good. Shock troops just aren't as good anymore because they can't I, break units. I still think vampire counts are extremely viable. It's just army lists are going to change quite a lot. Well, I mean, they got... Hurt. Well, the magic phase changed, so how does that well, I think you're gonna see run down for vampire camps? Now. And, like, I think you're going to see more lords like Conrad with their pure killy. You're going to see more vampire lords that are, like, red thirst, just beat down units. Because, I mean, you can do that thing where you get red thirst, where you get another attack for every attack, and there's a 50-point sword in here that gives you plus three attacks. So oh, I'm mean, wow. probably going to be throwing down six or seven dice just from that. And every time you wound from that, the first round, you get another attack. Did those attacks produce attacks? No. Okay. 
but, but still. I mean, that's a lot of attacks for right. a vampire. Yeah, it is. And then you have the rest it of his is. unit. Yep. Stick well, him in with the Blood Knight yeah. unit. Goes, rawr, I well, and you still got Things with Frenzy got a boost. Oh yeah. Frenzy, yeah. you you gotta you better you better take another look at stuff with Frenzy because they can restrain with a leadership check. Good night. And <sighs> the battle banner, battle standard, allows them to re-roll that. Yeah, all leadership tests. Battle standard bears are pretty much a staple, I think, in our yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that. Like, yeah, as if they weren't good enough. Be usable. They're gonna <laughs> be able to use them now. Because like before, yeah. you could just kite them around the board with Frenzy, but they yeah. have a higher leadership and they have Frenzy. So it's going to be really huh. hard to get them to do that. Interesting. And they just, they hit like a Mack truck. Yeah. Oh, there you, you know, go. Got the battle standard bear around. And yeah. Uh -huh. I had to paint mine up over the weekend just because I saw how good they were. Awesome. Yeah, and you did a good job on it, too. It looks real nice. All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys.